Concept number six, futures contracts. Now these are the same as forward contracts. It's just that these are exchange traded. So these are standardized and cannot be, uh, the terms of contract cannot be changed and modified. These are highly regulated. If there is any violation, then that leads to governmental prosecution. These are backed by clearing house. That means there is lesser default risk in this case. These are more transparent than forward contracts. It involves daily settlement of gains and losses, which is called mark to market settlement or MTM. Now, this is important. In case of a forward contract, we have seen that there was no payment at the initiation of the contract, nor there was any payoff in, in the term of the contract. There was only a payoff made at the on the expiry date. Yes. However, in case of futures, what happens at the time of initiation of the contract, we have to make a deposit in the margin account and this margin account will keep on increasing and decreasing on a daily basis. If it is a gain, then it is added to the margin balance. If there is a loss, then it is deducted from the margin balance. Okay, so there is a daily settlement concept. It requires margin. As I already said, there is a cash deposit, which is to be made with the clearing house by both the buyer as well as the seller. And this margin is of two types, initial margin and maintenance margin. Let us discuss it one by one. Concept number seven, initial margin. What is it? It is the initial margin that is at the time of the initiation of the contract, the margin money that is required to be deposited. It is usually under 10% and it is a percentage of the purchase price of securities. So for example, if it is a $100 security, then for that you have to deposit only $10 or even less than that. Okay. Now this percentage is usually equal to one day's maximum price fluctuation. That means the maximum loss that the parties can suffer in a single day. That amount is taken as a initial deposit amount. And this has to be entirely paid in cash. You cannot take any loan or borrowings to deposit this money. So this initial deposit has to be made in cash. Now this is the point where some people get confused. The What is the difference between margin in case of derivatives in case of futures and what is the meaning of equity margin okay so these are two different things and uh, let us understand them the margin money that we are talking about in case of futures this is the initial deposit that we just discussed yes so this is like a performance guarantee that you in case you incur a loss you do not run away without making the payment so that is why this this amount of money is taken in advance however in case of equity market in the equity margin which is which is the underlying market in that case the concept of margin relates to borrowings for instance if you want to buy a security worth hundred dollars and you do not want to in you do not have the money to invest all at once so you can invest 40 of yours and you can borrow 60 as a loan okay so that is a loan and you have to repay it with interest that is not a deposit that is a borrowing and with each and every day an interest in an interest is being charged on that amount and this borrowings amount has to be repaid no matter what whether you make a gain or a loss this amount has to be repaid to the broker However, in case of futures, if you are depositing $10, it does not mean that the remaining 90 is a loan on you. That is not the case. This 90 does not come into the picture. Okay. In case of futures, you are investing only $10. However, your underlying is $100 worth of security. What it means is that if this 100 becomes 110, then your investment becomes 20 okay 10 you have already invested and 10 is your gain so your investment becomes 20 which is what you can take home okay you are never going to get this 110 at any point in time and if in case you incur a loss let's say this 100 becomes 95 in that case your deposit amount will be reduced by 5 and your uh, balance amount will become 5 only 
okay so now if you want to withdraw then you can take this home or if you want to play further then you will have to again refill your margin account with this much balance which is called margin call which is our next concept and we will take a practical to understand this but for now i think i have made this clear that there is a difference between futures margin and equity margin equity margin is a loan is it is a borrowing and futures margin is nothing but a deposit okay so if there was a confusion in your mind i hope that it is clear now and if there was no question about it you never knew about this thing then you can simply ignore it concept number eight maintenance margin and margin call so what is maintenance margin this is the minimum amount of equity that has to be maintained in your margin account so we were discussing about initial margin in the previous concept that if the value of security is 100 then you have to deposit an initial margin of let's say 10 dollars but that is an initial margin that is not the minimum balance that you have to maintain at every point in time we know that futures are mark to market settled which means their the daily gains and losses are added to to this balance right so if you incur a loss then the value of this uh, account is going to fall so what is the minimum level what is the lowest level to which this account balance can fall that is given by this maintenance margin so let's say if the maintenance margin is kept at five dollars in that case your margin balance cannot fall below this amount once your account limit is reached at this level in that case you will get a call from the broker which is called margin call all right so if your margin balance is less than the maintenance margin in that case you will get a call from the broker to refill your margin account balance with an amount that will take the margin balance to back to the initial margin it means you have to refill your account to reach back this ten dollar worth of balance okay so for any reason if your account falls to four in that case you will have to deposit another six dollars so that your account balance is again back to ten this is the meaning of margin call and one more interesting thing you can uh, fund this margin account either by making additional deposits either you make more deposits or you can also liquidate the stocks that you have held right you can decrease your exposure as well instead of 100 you can reduce your exposure to 60 in that case you won't have to deposit additional money okay this i have written the 60 as a, just a random figure not calculated okay we will see the calculation in this example here okay now focus on this example and this concept of initial margin and maintenance margin will be crystal clear to you an investor that is you wants to buy 100000 worth of apple stocks the initial margin is given as 50% and the maintenance margin is 50% of initial margin that is 25% of the contract value. Okay, Then if the value of investment falls to 65,000 after one month, what shall be the amount of margin call? First we will have to determine whether, whether your mar maintenance margin limit has been breached or not only if that limit has been breached then the marginal call will come into picture so first let us see what is your investment in the first place what is the initial amount that you have deposited right so the initial margin that we have deposited is 50 percent of the contract value so 50 percent of the contract was for thousand dollars so the initial amount that we have to deposit is fifty thousand dollars now understand it this way that we have taken exposure for hundred thousand dollars and out of this we divided we divide it into two parts one is fifty thousand which we have actually invested and the balance fifty thousand now after one month the value falls to sixty five thousand so this hundred thousand has become now sixty five thousand so that means there is a reduction of thirty five thousand so this is a loss this is a clear loss and that will be reduced from our initial margin so this will be deducted from our initial margin and now our margin balance becomes only fifteen thousand okay and this 50,000 remains intact so the 50 15 plus 50 that is 65,000 is the current contract value and now we need to check whether our maintenance margin is breached or not 
so we see that the maintenance margin is 25 percent of the contract value right so what is our contract value right now it is 65,000 and what is our margin balance right now that is 15,000 so out of 65,000 we are maintaining a balance of 15 how much is this what percentage is this this is 23 percent approx right so this means that we have breached the maintenance margin uh, requirement of 25 percent since this has fallen beyond maintenance margin we will have to refill it in a way that we reach the 50 percent value of the contract okay our initial margin requirement is 50 percent maintenance margin is 25 percent currently our value has fallen below 25 percent right so now we need to refill our balance to come up back to the level of 50 percent and this is 50 percent of contract value so what is our contract value right now it is 65 so 65 times 50 percent is 32 500 okay so our current level is 15,000 and we need to reach the level of 30 to 500. So what is the gap between the two? The gap is 30 to 500 minus 15,000. The gap comes to 17,500. So this is the amount of margin call that we need to put in back so that we reach the initial margin level of 50% okay so some people might make a mistake that they might uh, think this 30 to 500 as the margin call so that would be a mistake to reach this level of 30 to 500 we need to invest further only 17 500 because this 15 is still there in our account so our final answer is what should be the amount of margin call the amount of margin call should be 17500 bucks